Would you think rapamycin would help with autoimmune diseases at all? It's a great question. So rapamycin is a drug that is used to suppress the immune system. The idea basically is in conventional Western medicine, like other than blaming genetics, one of the things they like to blame for almost everything is inflammation. And so what is inflammation? As I love to point out, is not like some magical thing that appears. It is your own immune system responding to something. And so this is where there's a bit of debate. The idea of autoimmunity, to go back to this person's question, the very concept of autoimmunity, I think some people question, and I kind of do as well, because the concept of autoimmunity from a mainstream medical perspective is your immune system is attacking your own cells, your own self, for no reason. And the only bit I disagree with is the for no reason thing. Like, it's, it's doing it for a reason. There's a bit of disagreement, okay, why is it doing that then? Some people would say, you know, it's, it's reacting to some kind of toxin and or pathogen that's present. Actually, it's just that we haven't been able to detect it. We haven't even looked for it. There's also the theory that it's not necessarily reacting to something that's there or there anymore, but it's just been so dysregulated by whatever. Again, probably toxin or pathogen, maybe even a nutrient deficiency. And so back to the inflammation thing, the idea of inflammation is it, is it should be a natural, healthy response. It's the first line immune response to a problem. There's part of it that has this big reaction called inflammation. There's part of it that kind of tempers that. And so what rapamycin does is it like reduces the reaction and increases the regulatory. And, and to be honest, to some degree, like it overdoes that. And that's why often people in rapamycin, they're more likely to get infections. However, it wouldn't be my number one recommendation anyway, because it's not addressing the root issue. And also because if I were trying to get the immune system to be correct again, I would prefer to use LDN to rapamycin, because the problem with rapamycin is it's just suppressing the reactive part, increasing the inhibitory part or the regulating part. Whereas with the LDN, it's much more sophisticatedly by helping to optimize the endorphin system, helping to bring the immune system back into balance. And it doesn't have that reputation of over uh, doing the inhibitory effect like rapamycin does.